Hey guys, it's your girl, Elijah Tony XO. What's up? I got some drugstore goodies for you guys. So there's some things at the drugstore that I've been wanting to try. Um, some of it is like brand spanking new, like just launched, and some of it I'm just a little late to the bandwagon, so bear with me. Um, so yeah, so some of the, like I said, some of the stuff is like like just fresh off the drugstore market. Some of the stuff um, has been around a little while, but I'm late getting on the bandwagon. So I just kind of wanted to show you a few things that I picked up at Walgreens. Um, so yeah, so let's just dig on in this bag and uh, get started. Um, the main thing I went there for um, was if you know anything about me, all this stuff is falling out of my life. If you know anything about me, I'm a huge foundation nut. Like, I have to try anything new that comes out on the market as far as foundation. So, when I found out that Milani made a new foundation um, called Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer, I was like... Hells, yeah, sign me up. Okay, when I got in there, I didn't know this. I was just going, running in to get this, and I'll show you a close-up of it. What it looks like. Have not tried this out yet, but again, it's Milani, and it's a two-in-one foundation concealer. So, it's supposed to be like a full coverage foundation, basically, is what it's supposed to be. I got Zero Two Natural. I wanted zero 01 because I heard this oxidizes, but they didn't have zero 01, so I got zero 02. So if I have to mix it with a lighter foundation, I will, but I'm just really wanting to try this out. Now, I did not know this when I purchased this, but it was a buy one, get one, half off, half off deal, so why not? So I went ahead and got two. Like I said, I wanted zero 01. They didn't have it, so I got two, zero two, and zero two, which is called natural. Um, and I am wearing these crazy sleeves that, this is just like my favorite shirts, but um, I'm going to kind of demo it on my hand, the back of my hand. But also, I'm going to do a video on just this foundation because it's super cheap and affordable and if this is like a really good foundation you can tell that it's super thick it's not dripping um and it's if it's a really good that it's a little bit darker than my skin but I, mean, I do bronze my skin up so i think if i bring it down the neck shouldn't have too much of a problem it is blending very well on my hand but um yeah i just it's got a very good coverage to it. I've heard a lot of good things about this product. It's very affordable. And if it's like a dupe for Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, and a lot of people, you know, just don't want to spend that much money on foundation. Maybe look how it blends into the skin. So it might, this color might just work for me actually. Um, so I'm super stoked to try this. Um... It says it has medium to full coverage, which I figured since it says um, foundation plus concealer. So it is lightweight, oil free, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. This sounds like the perfect summer foundation for us oily girls. I get really oily around the um, T zone area through here. A little bit here, but a lot of right through here and through here. So, this would be a really good summer foundation if it's not lying and it holds up. So, I'm going to do a video just on the Milani. Um, I'm trying to read it because I have two. I'm going to do a video just on the Milani um, Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. So, if you're looking forward to finding out more about this product. Um, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below saying that you would like to see a review and see me applying this foundation 
um, what I feel about the coverage, what I feel about the consistency of it. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the um, Skin Active Cleansing Water. I'm sure you've seen this. Um, this one is the for the waterproof eye makeup. And since I wear like lashes with glue and like liner and mascara and all that kind of stuff, I decided to get the waterproof. They both say for sensitive skin. Um, they both say they're oil and alcohol and fragrance free. So, up. Um, I really, really like the L'Oreal brow products. Um, if you've seen my March favorites, um, I talked about the, the Brow Stylist Definer is my new favorite Holy Grail brow pencil. And, and it's replaced the Anastasia. And that's what I'm wearing today. It's L'Oreal. So I bought a backup of it. And this is in Brunette. And they did have taupe, but the Brunette when you have a light hand with it, it really matches my hair color because my hair is more brassy, I guess. So, I don't know. It just really, it goes great with my hair. So, I usually just get the brunette. It's 389 brunette. They also have uh, taupe. They have blonde. And then they have another brunette, like a dark brunette or something like that. But, um, yeah, brunette works for me. So, I really like this product a lot. So, I wanted to try this one by L'Oreal. It's the Brow Stylist Plumper because I'm almost out of my Anastasia, um, the clear gel. And I always put a clear gel coat over my brows. Did I say lashes? Because I sometimes I say the wrong words. Sorry. If I said lashes, I'm sorry. Brows is what I'm talking about. So, this one is just a clear, it says transparent. Brow Stylist Plumper. Um, it's going to take the place of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Gel if it works. I don't know. That looks like it's supposed to be a really teeny tiny tip, which is what I'm hoping for. I don't want one of those big ones that just like gets gunk everywhere. So I'm really hoping this works. I've never tried it. We will see. I will test that product out. Um, what else did I get? I got a couple of little, um, like, contour palettes with, like, blushes and highlights and stuff. Just drugstore ones because I wanted to try them out. This one is, um, Maybelline. So, it's got the contour, the blush, and the highlight. Um, and this one is a medium deep. I wanted the, uh, light medium, but they didn't have the light medium, so I had to get medium deep. Um... So, I will swatch this for you. That is the, uh, supposed to be the contour. This is supposed to be the blush. The blush reminds me of orgasm a little bit. And this is the highlight. This one right here. It's a very golden color. Um, but, there they are swatched. I don't know. It's not a very good swatch. But, there they are right there can see the highlight um so yeah so i'm gonna try this out and see if i like it again this is the maybelline master contour um in medium deep like i said i didn't want that color but that's the, co the color that they had left um i also got another contour little kit um, I got L the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. I heard a lot of good things about this one. Um, and I got this one in light. And it, let's see, has this funky little brush where you're supposed to use this part to highlight. And this where the highlight is on one side and the contour is on the other. I don't feel like this brush works very well. I mean, I can't really tell. But, um, this is a super, like, very light, um, contour. So, I would say if you're going to use this palette, 
this would be a good nose contour because it's super neutral, super light, almost like a taupey color. So if you have fair skin, you're not going to have like a big orange streak down your nose. Um, the highlight is super pretty. Look at the highlight on that one. Let me try the highlight. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I don't know. We'll play with it and see. That's by L'Oreal. Little cute little compact there. And what else do I have? I got um an, two eyeshadow palettes. And then I got a couple of little little um okay, I just dropped the seat. I got the uh, L'Oreal Infallible uh, Makeup Setting Spray because um, I ran out of my Urban Decay one. So I wanted, I've never tried this one and I heard that it, I believe I heard it was made by the same company. Could be wrong, but I thought that's what they said. Okay. I can tell you right now, the spritz on this is stronger than the Urban Decay has more of a mist. And this one's just more like somebody squirting you with water. And it also has a funky smell to this one. The Urban Decay doesn't have a smell and this one has kind of a funky smell. So, those are two negatives already for this. I don't really know how this works as far as... My main goal for, for buying a setting sp spray is for my makeup to stay all day. So, I don't really care about the smell or how it... This, I keep hearing everybody talk about and their mother. It's the Nivea Men Sensitive um, Shave Balm. And I heard this was a very good primer. So, I'm excited to try this out. I heard if you put it on your face like a primer... Pat it in two pores and you're and use it as a primer, it will make your makeup stay longer. So, we're going to try this out and see if it works. It might just be hyped up. The other thing is the Monistat, <laughs> Monistat um, Chafing Relief Gel. No, I'm not chafing, but I heard this was a really good primer, also by Tati. Tati said this, and you know, I believe everything Tati says. So, she's my girl, she's my homie. Even though she doesn't know I'm alive. She's still my homie. So, um, yeah. So, Tati said this was really good. It's supposed to be like some kind of make, um, makeup artist secret. So, I wanted to try. I'm all about trying primers and trying things to make makeup last longer on my skin. Because I do have oily skin. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The two eyeshadow palettes that I purchased. And we'll go over real quick with you. Um, one is extremely new. And one has been around forever, but I'm just very late to this bandwagon. So, the new one is the L'Oreal La Palette Noir. Noir? Noir? Yeah, Noir. Noir. Whatever. It's basically like a smoky palette, like a blues and grays. And if I can open it. Okay. And there it is. Um, and the, the little brush is probably going to fall out, but, so here it is, it's got these gorgeous, gorgeous blues and grays and smoky colors, I kind of want to do a look with this, those are some smoky grays, so this is just like a really good smoky palette, it does have a double ended, um, pretty good size, um, I, I, um, I brush, that's what I'm trying to say, um, so, I mean, it's usable, I wouldn't throw it away, it's not one of those little rinky dink ones, um, so yeah, and there's even this really, I don't want to get on my shirt, but there's really, really pretty bright color blue too, right there. Um, it's right there. Um, so yeah, there's some pretty colors in here. So, this is very new. It just came out. It's the third L'Oreal palette. There's 
three different ones. And like I said, this is the Newer, the, the L'Oreal La Palette Newer. Why can't I speak? I don't know. Okay, the last thing I purchased is just like a, I've heard so much people, so many people talk about this like little Wet n Wild trio. It's called Walking on, on Eggshells. I can't use this one because this is all dark color. So I'm going to have to pull my sleeve up over here. Um, so basically, there's a crease color, a brown bo brow bone color, and a um, lid, lid color. So we'll, we'll swatch these. They're pretty pigmented. That's the lid color. Ooh, feels good. That's the crease color. And this is the brow bone color. So, pretty pigmented um, shadows, I would say. Um, I don't really, like I said, I don't really know what look I want to go for um, with my anniversary look. I want to I wanna be sexy, but I don't really know what look I want to go for. Those are the colors swatched. Very pretty. Do like a bronzy, shimmery eye with this. Or you could do like a smoky eye with the other palette. So basically, those are, those are all the drugstore things that I purchased. I hope you enjoyed my little drugstore haul. I don't know if it was little, but, you know. I'm mainly excited about this foundation. I heard really good things about it. I'm super stoked about trying this. I'm probably going to wear it tomorrow for my... Not, not tomorrow... When we go on our anniversary date, which will probably be um, sometime this weekend. So, so, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, you guys. I hope you have a great day, a great weekend. Um, and I will see you next time. Love you to pieces. Bye, guys.